Hello guys, what's up, Spider Steam here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make your regular PC, normal Windows computer, look like an Apple computer. For example, if you don't like your um, regular Windows computer, but like you don't like the theme of it, but you like how it runs, it's better than an Apple computer, but you like the look of the Apple computer instead of the Windows, then this is the right vi this is the right place you're supposed to be. This is the right video if you understood what I was talking about. Now, um, normally I don't make those type of videos, but um, my old channel, the one that got hacked and deleted, had this video, so I want to try to recreate everything that I uh, had in my old channel over here. This was my first video on my old channel. So anyway, guys, enough about my old channels and stuff about me. Let's just get straight to it. So basically, guys, the first thing you have to do is just open up your browser, whatever you like to use. For example, I love to use Google Chrome. To me, that's the, the most easiest one, the fastest. That's just me. So go to custo pack tool, uh, custo pack.com. I think that's it. Yeah, custo pack.com. And then you gotta download custo pack tools, which you got, just gotta click on this download button. And then once you've downloaded it, it should be in your downloads folder, which it is right here for me right here and then once you've downloaded that just install it and then leave it running in the background and then after you've installed it or once you're trying to install it um, open up another browser and then go to Google wait for it to open and then you can type in custom pack tools um, Mac and then here is the first link. The, all these links will be in the description box below just in case if you can't find them anymore. So then you gotta click on this download button and then it should be downloaded. And then you should have these two folders right here. I'm gonna put them in order just because I like to do that. So once you've installed custom pack tools, you should now run your Mac OS X Lion, the, the Mac folder that you've just downloaded. So once you've done that, open this up if this pops up just click on yes click on and then you are about to install Mac OS X Lion in Spirit do you want to continue basically this is a theme for Mac so click on yes and then you should wait for everything to pop up and you know do its work and I'll just go guys so alright so once this thing is to open up it's gonna open up as pack tools so that's why we've downloaded custom pack tools so now you gotta go to um, Oh, wait, uh, don't click on anything. Just wait for a few seconds, and then this is going to come up. I haven't done this in a while, but I remember, I remember the like instructions of what to do. So I'll wait for this thing to continue. Okay, um, and here you need to basically just go to Selection of Options and Installation, and then you need to pick what you want from here. So basically, if you want everything to look like exactly everything from the Mac, click on full installation because that will install every single thing in here and if you click on basic you see you can look over here so you can see what is not going to be checked and stuff so the fonts is not going to be there at all I mean it has an X on it and then uh, but it's going to change anyways I mean I've tried this before the classic you can see what it does it's just not going to add the additional software full installation is everything is going to be there personalized you gotta pick your own basically so and so just click on the full installation that's what I want to do it's all your choices guys and so here it says caution system changes apply um, to all user accounts on your computer you must have administrator rights in order to install custom pack now administrator rights is basically you the owner of the computer you're the admin of your own computer so basically just ignore that hit next step and then you need to click on I understand if you don't do that then I still think you can click on it, but I would just go with I understand and accept. Hit on install custom pack tools or install custom pack. And then um, you should be on this process for a few minutes. Um, it's not going to take long. It's not going to take hours. It doesn't use up your internet or anything like that, if most of you are wondering about that. Um, so, yeah. Um, also, just wait for this whole thing to finish. In the end, it's going to ask you for um, to restart your computer. And so I'm just going to wait for this thing to finish. I'll be right back when it does. All right, guys. So in the end, once this whole thing is finished, you should see all the changes already finished. 
And so this is going to be on the top. You got your dock right there. And um, everything's done. You can see that your background has changed. And um, your cursor is also changed if you look at that. And so um, basically you're all done, but it's going to also ask you to restart your computer. So just so I can show you guys the full process, I will restart my computer, but I will have to um, get back to you guys. So I will be right back when I get to finish restarting my computer. Alright guys, so once you have restarted your computer, um, you will notice that after everything is finished booting up, this will come up, um, resume, resuming the installation of your custo pack. Um, it's nearing, it's near completion, uh, click yes, just click yes, it's basically going to continue the installation, I don't have to read throughout the whole thing. Click yes if this pops up, it's just getting your permission. And then um, it should just finish those last few touches. But um, I'm going to put this aside um, just so I can show you guys what it has done throughout. Now, you see when you're, um, you see, uh, what, what that? Yeah, see he's doing this last few touches. But you saw that sound that's from the Apple computer when you get to boot up. Um, you're also going to be getting that sound. Um, Alright, let's see. Alright. Alright guys, so um, here are a few changes of what happened to this computer. So basically you can see that your cursor, your mouse on the screen, it has changed from its original to black. And before I get to continue, this uh, the custom pack installation is finished, just click on back to menu and just close it. So uh, here are a few things that has changed throughout the, the computer from custom pack Mac OS X um, installation. So basically, of course, this is the most obvious. You got a dock right here. Basically, for example, this is for my computer. Just open up your computer, click on it, get a bounce. Here it is, it opened up. Um, so your cursor has changed to the black one, like the Apple computer. Um, your like everything has changed mostly. Um, you can tell that, um, for example, this one, and this has also changed. Um, it changed the color from here from whatever original color you had to the light gray and the dark gray in the bottom here those have also changed um, you can see that from the original one it used to be different but now it's like the the circle ones like from apple so you can close on that and uh, your background has changed i'm going to show you how to get a better one in a minute so um also um what else has changed oh yeah the um the toolbar that you have i think it's called toolbar i'm not so sure but here's what you should do to this toolbar um, you should right click on it, you can say um, properties, and then make this thing um, uncheck lock, lock, to, lock the taskbar, oh it's called taskbar, okay. Click on use small icons, click on OK, and now it's even smaller. And then um, for this dock thing, click on the rocket dock option, because this is actually rocket dock basically, it was obvious unless if you don't know what rocket dock is, then it's still rocket dock. So click on, um, what are you supposed to click on? I forgot. Um, oh yeah, when you get to go to general, make sure that the run and startup is checked and um, I'll show you some other things in here in a second. Um, here you can go to the quality. I'm going to make it um, just the average quality, the regular quality. But um, the main thing that we're looking here is that you need to go to position and then you need to go to screen position, make it on the bottom, click on OK. Now you can drag this thing to the top. And then wait for it and then here it is basically this is supposed to be an apple computer right now i mean the look the theme well, no all right so um basically yeah this was how it should be how it should look like and if you don't like this to be small just go back over here click on like this it can be bigger but i would prefer small but this is just my opinion so uh, once it's small you see it so far it looks great and so um, what else has changed? Oh yeah, so when you get to go to the Rocket Dock options, go to General, and then you can click on Minimize to win Minimize Windows to the to the dock. Now let me show you what this does. For example, click on it, click on OK. Um, let's just say, well, um, OK, open up your browser. All right, and then you gotta sometimes make it smaller so it can fit with the dock thing. So Okay, for example, here it is. Minimize it. It's not going to go to the top, but it's going to go right here, like a, like a regular Apple computer. So you can click on that. It'll go big. Minimize it. It'll go small. You see, that's what it does. 
And so, um, yeah, I'm going to keep that minimized just for purposes. And so you guys can add a, everything you want to that bar. So, for example, you can drag something, for example, um, let's just say a recycling bin. Wait, that's already there. Let's just say the computer. Uh, here it is. I want to replace this. See? And so you can basically add everything. So I can add also this. Um, here, Google. Um... Google Earth. You know, you can add everything you want in there. Um, so basically, that's how you can add everything you want in there. Just drag it, or you can, if you want to take something out when it's already in, just click on it, drag it out, let go. And then here it is. And then um, this is not iTunes. Unless you have iTunes, you can just throw this media player away and re replace it replace it with iTunes. And so, yeah, basically, you guys, um, that's basically everything it did and as I told you guys in the beginning I will show you how to get a better wallpaper so open up your browser go to Google and go to images and then type in hold on type in Mac OS X wallpaper hopefully I'm looking for the right one we'll see you guys you can get this one you can just click on that Wait for it. All right, here it is. Now you can save the image. Oops. Oh, here. Save the image to your desktop and then put it like this. So basically, here, set as desktop background. I mean, you can do it this way and then it's going to look like this even more better. Or you guys can do this one. These both will be in the description. Um, I think it was Snow Leopard. Yes. My personal favorite is this one. I mean, it, it just blends with the with the theme. That's why I like it. Oh, hold on. All right, so these two um, wallpapers will be in the description box below too. So um, here, let me just show you how that'll look like as your wallpaper. Let's go right here. Okay. And here it is. This one is my personal favorite, and I would keep it this way, but that's just me. And so, guys, if you have anything in your taskbar right here, you can just take everything that's from over here and then put it over here so this one can grow bigger and look like the Mac one. And so, um, yeah, guys, that was basically it for my video today. Um, comment and subscribe if you want to to see more YouTube videos. Uh, like these and see more gaming comedy and every other single video that you basically will see or want to see so um yeah guys thank you for watching comment subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video thank you